once again today i am before you with another topic as you like it for class 8 that is chapter number 9 of english literature i would like to request you to press the like button to like our video and to like our youtube channel and if you want to get the further notifications about the channel please press the bell icon if you didn't press till now now let us move to the chapter before discussing about the text or the summary of the chapter i would like to tell you something about the author of the play actually as you like it is a play of five acts which is written by william shakespeare first i would like to tell you a play or a drama is divided into two parts mainly there are two types of play mainly the first is a comedy next is a tragedy so as you like it is a comedy by william shakespeare who was born in 1564 and died in 1616 shakespeare has written this play in the year about 1598 to 1600 this play of shakespeare is based on the play of thomas lodge that is rosa lind which was written or composed in the year 1590 so the play is uh, based on the thematically based on the thomas lodge play rosalind i would like to tell you actually the shakespeare used to write the plays which were divided into many acts the most important thing is that most of the plays of shakespeare were divided into five acts and the acts were further divided into scenes so in this chapter i'm not going to explain you the full text of the play or all the acts or all the scenes of the play this is the chapter related to only scene 4th of second act now before starting the text or the summary of the chapter i would like to make you aware of some word meanings which you'll face in the text i would teach you the summary summary later the first word meaning is apparel apparel means to be have unlike a man the next is the weaker vessel the weaker vessel is a term used by shakespeare for woman in this text in this chapter in this scene celia and rosalind are playing man's part of course they are playing man's part rosalind is disguised as ganymede and celia is disguised as eliana but they have been called the weaker vessel by shakespeare shakespeare used to call woman the weaker vessel next is solemn solemn is serious thou thou means you you is the subjective case in the same way thou is the subjective case t h y thy is the objective case of thou which means you next is thine t h i n e thine means your possessive case of you so as you as three forms subjective case objective case and possessive case in the same way thou for you thy for you and thine for yo next is folly folly means mistake next is phoebe the most important word phoebe means goddess of moon actually i would like to tell you shakespeare was very much rich in diction and vocabulary he used to use the words from mythology mythology means from bible so phoebe phoebe is a word taken from bible which means goddess of moon wound means heart yond means yonder yond is the short form of yonder which means that e v e n even even means evening even is a short form of evening charles disposition means unkind nature coat once again coat is the shortest form of short form of cottage feeder means shepherd now i think i have cleared you the word meanings which will be a tackle for you while going to the story means uh, text before reading the play i would like to make you aware of the characters which play their part in this scene the first is rosalind i have written rosalind oblique ganymede means rosalind is a girl who has played the part of ganymede as a boy means rosalind is disguised as ganymede who is a boy rosalind is the daughter of the old duke and niece of duke frederick disguised as a boy called ganymede rosalind is a girl but disguised as a boy ganymede rosalind is the daughter of old duke or you can say the niece of duke frederick celia celia is the daughter of duke frederick 
इन द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर आई हैव टोल्ड यू रोजालैंड इज द नीस ऑफ ड्यूक फ्रेडरिक एंड सीलिया आई हैव टोल्ड यू इज द डॉटर ऑफ ड्यूक फ्रेडरिक मीन्स रोजालैंड एंड सीलिया आर द कजेंस टच स्टोन टच स्टोन इज द थर्ड कैरेक्टर हु हैज कम विद रोजालैंड एंड सीलिया टच स्टोन इज एक्चुअली अ कोर्ट जेस्चर हु इज ट्रेवलिंग विद रोजालैंड एंड सीलिया सिल्वियस एंड कोरिन दीज टू आर द कैरेक्टर्स हुम रोजालैंड सीलिया एंड टच स्टोन मीट इन द फॉरेस्ट सिल्वियस इज अ यंग शेफर्ड एंड कोरिन इज एन ओल्डर शेफर्ड नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट द समरी ऑफ द चैप्टर actually when the story starts we meet a trio means a group of three people group of three persons those three persons are rosalind celia and touchstone rosalind who has disguised herself as a man called ganymede celia who has disguised herself as eliana and uh, touchstone who is the court jester these there are these three characters who have reached finally to the forest actually they have been expelled from the court and they have come to forest so after a long journey to the forest they have finally reached and they are very much tired they are very much weary now they want to take rest so for rest only they have stopped there they have taken a pause there while they were taking rest while were uh, means uh, pausing there a young shepherd silvius i have told you there are two characters silvius and corin these are two shepherds the young shepherd silvius enters silently enters seriously into the forest describing about the unconditional love for phoebe to his friend corin corin loves phoebe a lot phoebe i have told you is the goddess moon phoebe is a mythological character used by shakespeare in this play so when uh, silvius enters in the forest talking about his friend's love to phoebe both of them corin and silvius are talking to themselves both of them are so much engaged in talking they both of them are so much busy in talking that they hardly notice them them means rosalind celia and touchstone rosalind celia and touchstone are sitting there taking rest but they are not noticed by silvius and corin because they are very much engaged in talking silvius looks very much worried about the love of uh, love towards you can say phoebe immediately he breaks off his conversation Bre breaks off means he stops his conversation and runs away in a direction calling oh phoebe 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 he is mad to phoebe you can say now touchstone when uh, he runs away from there touchstone calls corin in a useless or you can say foul manner foul manner superior manner but rosalind interrupts when he calls when touchstone calls corin in a loud voice rosalind stops him rosalind interrupts him and uh, means very politely very courteously requests him to take some rest and to arrange some food because they are very much tired of the long journey so now all three especially rosalind want to take some rest shelter and food meanwhile corin comes and tells touchstone that he is not his own master corin tells that he is not the master of silvius or he is not the master of his own he is dependent upon his landlord he is dependent upon a rich man and further he tells that his landlord wants to sell his cottage flocks and his land or uh, his landlord wants to sell his property to silvius he has given a contract to corin to sell his property to silvius but silvius as i have told you is mad in love of phoebe he does not want to want to see or he does not want to like anything in the world except phoebe he only learns remembers phoebe throughout the day throughout the night throughout the night throughout his life so silvius is you can say not interested in purchasing the property of landlord silvius is so much engaged in love that he hardly cares for buying anything he does not want to buy anything 
he is very much engaged with phoebe he every time remembers of phoebe so he is not interested in purchasing the property immediately rosalind gives an idea an idea stuck into the mind of rosalind rosalind orders commissions or says corin to make purchase of the property on the behalf of herself and celia means rosalind tells corin that he should purchase means corin on his own should purchase the property on behalf of celia and rosalind they they tell corin that you should purchase the property on behalf of us and you will remain our shepherd on the better wages better wages means wages means the money to get in change of hard work so rosalind says that you should purchase the property on our behalf and i will put you with us i will keep you with us as a shepherd on better wages in this way rosalind there uh, means uh, the conversation takes place between rosalind and celia celia and corin corin and rosalind rosalind and corin and finally the pact comes to an end that rosalind and celia decide to purchase the property and they start to live there for a longer period of time and uh, in this way there comes the end of the scene and the curtain falls means the scene of this act comes to an end now i think we are in a condition to discuss about the question answers of this chapter the first question is who is rosalind so i have told you in the summary of the chapter that rosalind is a girl or you can say the niece to duke frederick or the daughter of old frederick who has disguised herself as ganymede a boy next who is celia celia is the daughter of duke frederick celia is the cousin of rosalind who is disguised herself as eliana who is touchstone touchstone is a court jester who has come to the forests of arden with rosalind and celia where has the trio finally reached the trio after a long journey has finally reached to a forest what do you mean by the word phoebe in the expression part i have told you phoebe is a mythological term taken from the bible which means the goddess of moon so the meaning of the word phoebe is the goddess of moon your five question answers are completed now now go through these four sentences and tell whether they are correct or not the first is rosalind plays the part of a man in the scene yes rosalind plays the part of a man in the scene and the name of the man is ganymede the next is rosalind is not tired of the journey to arden it is false rosalind celia and touchstone all are tired or weird of the journey to the forest arden arden is the name of the forest they have, where they have finally reached corin thinks highly of silvius the next sentence is sentence number 3 corin thinks highly of silvius yes it is true silvius who is very much engaged in love of phoebe corin is very much worried or thinks very much of silvius the last and the fourth is corin's master is a kind but lazy man yes it is true corin's master or landlord is a kind but lazy man we can call him a lazy man because he has given the contract to corin to sell his property instead of doing the same on his own so thank you for watching our youtube video thank you once again for liking the video and pressing the bell icon okay thank you